Now, why is this such a big shift for the libertarian community right now? Whereas in before, it might not have been that much of a big shift. In fact, they would be contrasted. Why is it that now racial egalitarianism and various other things are being opposed by libertarians and hereditarianism is sort of becoming a big shift? Well, there's one theory I have for this, and it's a very simple theory, and it goes a little like this. Libertarians support any government where they would have a lot of liberties. They're advocates of liberty. And when you take that into account, there is one simple structure that you need to focus on, and that's the structure of people just interacting non-institutionally and that's society so when you look at people in society and they, how they'd react in an institution and the way they the end results vary you got to take into account if there's a difference in performance and everyone's the same once you get rid of all the environmental characteristics, are these people being exploited? And what I'd say at the moment is no. Because I'm a little bit biased towards hereditarianism, although I'm a bit more open to egalitarianism if that can be shown to me. So I'm kind of neutral right now. However, it's definitely the big shit in libertarianism at the moment because libertarians are taking into account that if no one's being owed, that by not making this conflict, by not making this egalitarian conflict, and trying to put those people who are innately performing better, having them pay some big shit, that liabilities aren't being created and if it was the other way around and there was was is a tremendous um equality and egalitarianism in regards to different groups in society once you get the environmental characteristics gone then you can say that by not doing anything that liabilities are being continually not paid for that they're being sustained and when liabilities are sustained, that's usually a big problem. So that's why these conflicts are conflicts of society. Because when you look at egalitarianism versus hereditarianism, you're no longer looking at some absurd institution, but people in general, societies, human interaction. And how once you get rid of all these variables, is there something left? Is there still a disparity? Is there still a difference? And that's what I'm concerned for too because I'm such a big shit for libertarianism at the moment. Okay guys, so fuck you all. I'm finished.